Hi everybody, this video I will be sharing with you guys the Gucci Marmont bucket bag. So if you guys are interested, do stick around. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Christina. I do product reviews on luxury beauty, skincare and makeup, occasionally a luxury accessory review like right now or a vlog here and there. So if you have not subscribed or press the notification bell beside it, please do so now so that you can be part of our little community and be notified every time I upload a new video. So let's begin right away you guys. I'm excited to share this bag with you. It was in my most recent video of an unboxing where I had absolutely no makeup. Today we're kind of made up because I had things to do. So this is the Unbox Gucci Marmont bucket bag. I am going to read the details of this bag and show you as well. Okay, so it's made of a black metalese chevron leather, as you can see, and it has a heart on the back. It also has an antique gold-toned hardware, which I love. Now, the lining is made up of a microfiber, microfiber moire, and it has a suede-like finish. It actually feels exactly like suede. There's two card slots, which I will show you later on, and the detachable, detachable key ring. And then this drop is a 23.6 chain drop. What else am I forgetting? Um, okay, dimensions. Dimensions of the bag is 5.5 inches in width, 6.7 in height, and 5.1 inches in dimension. This is made in Italy. Dimension-wise, you guys, I think it's really up my alley. So, this looks very familiar to another bag that I have, and I brought it out just to show you. This is my YSL Lulu. Oh my gosh, they are sisters. And I think that's what attracted me design-wise to this. I love a good leather. You can see the leather right away, the quality of the leather. I love black with gold. And especially with this antique gold tone, it just looks very classy and classic. And of course, the size of the bag was what really drew, drew me to it. I'm not the biggest Gucci brand fan. I prefer, I mean, I love Louis Vuitton, YSL, and Dior a lot of the French brands, but this style I really liked. And I think this size, which I did not see in other brands, or if ever they there were similar ones, they couldn't fit as much. And they were a lot pricier, like a thousand more, and I couldn't even fit some of my essentials. So definitely why I went for this, but you can see the similarity. Obviously, I have a type. Okay. So that being said, a lot of people when I unbox this also wanted to see what's in my bag so that I can show them what fits. I don't even have, I didn't even put other things but already there is still so much space. So the first thing that it fits is my iPhone. This is a Pro Max. So always this is such a deal maker or breaker for me because in other brands, sometimes the Pro doesn't even fit. And that's just crazy. My Louis Vuitton pouch with a key holder. This is one of the best luxury purchases I ever bought and also one of the most inexpensive. It's been with me for years. Um, so I have my essential cards and my house keys and some essential other shopping cards. I have a powder, I have my Japanese powder. I have my Bath and Body Winter Candy Apple Sanitizer. I have a Dior lip gloss. I have a Garlane lipstick. And a lozenge. And an Armani Privé perfume. That's all I had in here for today, but look how much space there is. And it never felt too bulky or too tight where it was like, to be able to get one item from the bag, you have to take out the rest because some bags, that's how it is. And they're so pricey. I like it because it can fit so much. I can even still fit like um, 
gloves, my sunglasses. So very, very spacious. I would give this for functionality 10 out of 10. Now, with regards to the drawstring, this also drew me to the bag because you may not have a zipper, but a bucket bag allows you to manipulate how much stuff you have inside. The only thing or drawback is it's still so new, so it's not really closing all the way yet, but I know that over time it will. Once the leather has softened, I haven't even tried to really close it to a great deal yet, I guess, because it's so new, but now I'm actually trying. So if you close it a little bit more, like things are not going to fall out for sure. So now I'm going to show you the strap and where it falls on me. I'm about 5'3", I think 5'2 or 5'3", I'm not very tall, I'm not skinny, but one of the concerns I had was the drop of the strap because this is not adjustable you guys so I would recommend that if you're looking on getting this bag you want to see first like where it actually falls for you I'm gonna show you right now where it falls for me and this is something that I tried before I ordered the bag from Toronto I made sure that where it fell was gonna be good let me show you quickly I'm gonna back up a bit and I hope I hope it doesn't change the clarity. So this is the bag and I'm going to put it on me. That's where it falls. So on the side it falls this way. I'm going to back up a bit more. So to me it falls exactly where I want it. Not too high, not too low, not too bulky like where it's in, in the in the like under my arm. So I would say this falls like right above my hip and a little just on my high thigh which is perfect absolutely perfect this is how it looks on the side on the front and I absolutely love the drop so if you're not super tall this is very good so that is about it you guys that is the Gucci Marmont bucket bag I think if you want just a bag that is easy to to use on a daily basis if you're the type that just brings your essentials with you now or even for travel like when you tra when I travel I just want hands free and as small as a bag that can fit just my essentials then definitely this is a good bag to have I highly recommend it eventually you're going to be able to get to close this completely but also for the price point I have to say that compared to the other bags in the market luxury designer market this one really in terms of how much you can put inside and how much it is with the quality is absolutely amazing so I keep let me show you I keep my box and the receipt always with it of course the pouch of the bag and all the packagings even the ribbons they come in I usually keep everything so this one retails for 1,000 I have the receipt here 1,505 Canadian and I purchased this I ordered this from Nordstrom this was um, shipped from Eaton Center I'm not going to show you guys the details but it's 1,505 Canadian um, so Honestly, you guys, for the price point now in luxury designer handbags, that is very reasonable. And for how much this bag fits, it's just perfect for what I need. I didn't want anything too over the top, but that one just fits everything. So yeah, and then my two card slots there, I forgot to show you because I removed the cards already. I put my business cards there, but you have two slots. So if you just want to put your ID or your one credit card, I usually just have mine in my SLG, that's why. And then even with this one, if you don't have a, a small pouch like mine, the keychain makes it easy for you just to attach like your house key or your car key so it's easy to find. So that is about it, you guys. That is the Gucci Marmont bucket bag. I hope Hope you found this interesting if you're looking into it or if this video has now piqued your interest that it gave you more information if you wanted to go for the bag I highly recommend it so thank you guys for watching I hope you guys have a great day or a great evening